All right, so the next thing I wanted to bring up is suspension coatings. It actually provides a performance advantage over just looking cool. So we've got Kevin here to talk about the advantages of coating. And if you guys are interested in getting coating yourself, what is actually worth it and what isn't. So we'll dive into that right now. So the main advantage, performance advantage to this is the lower friction coefficient. Um, like we were talking about before, uh, the biggest, one of the biggest things we try to address on suspension is reducing friction. If you reduce friction, you reduce heat, you kind of prolong the life of the internals. Uh, same theory behind uh, changing the oil and um, there are DLC coated components internally in uh, many of the engines um, for that reason. We really like the coloring. Um, you can get some of the, these more vibrant colors. Uh, they work really well uh, and they look amazing. The only downside here is the color is not going to be as durable as a pure black or a super DLC uh, finish. Um, you see, you know, the fancy uh, colorings, the blues, the turquoises on a lot of the factory bikes, uh, which is great. But you also have to take into consideration that uh, many of the teams are, are uh, replacing these tubes after, you know, a race or a weekend or every couple weekends because through racing, you do get blemishes, you get dings, um, and the color is not quite as durable as the black. Most of the time we are recommending doing the black uh, just for durability purposes. If the color wears through, it's purely aesthetic. Uh, usually the color will wear through and it'll show black underneath, which doesn't look great to have black splotches under the color. So this is a Kashima coated upper tube. We send these out to Japan. Uh, you can see the factory tube. It's got these machining lines. They do a full polish on the outside. This isn't necessary. This isn't a performance advantage on the outside, but it looks amazing. So th there is a big reason why all the, you know, a lot of the mountain bike manufacturers, uh, suspension companies, and even off-road trophy trucks have started getting more into Kashima coating. Um, again, for just reducing temperature, reducing friction, and uh, it looks awesome. Most riders aren't going to notice or feel a, a, a significant difference in going from a OEM coating to the factory coatings. Uh, some of your more experienced vet riders can notice that. Um, and uh, we notice it with service intervals. Uh, you, you can get a little bit longer life um, out of the fluid before it starts to break down, but you should still get the fork serviced every 20 to 30 hours or so. If you're more of an extreme off-road, you know, hard enduro type racer, I would not necessarily recommend this because they cost a lot of money and it makes it that much more uh, frustrating when you have a bad get off in the rocks and you dent a tube or ding a tube or scratch it and you feel like it's, it's ruined. And we, we want to make sure that we set the expectations for the customers. It's great if you want to do the color, just know that uh, this can last many years if, uh, if, you don't, if you're not a reckless rider and you're not crashing or riding in the mud or in the sand too much. Uh, but if you, get, if you get grit trapped in between your dust and oil seals, that can you know uh, cause some discoloration and, and whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's coatings. So here we have um, two, uh, two fork legs off the same bike, a 2006 RM250. This is the factory fork. Uh, this is after we've done the coatings. Um, so we have the black DLC lower and the Kashima upper. Um, internally, the cartridges are the same cartridges. Um, However, we have revalved, um, you know, we have gold valves, um, you know, with settings specific to the rider. Uh, this is all just a factory fork. So we've also done the coating on the lower lug just to kind of complete the package there. SKF seals versus the OEM seals. This fork looks way better on your bike than this fork. Um, but if you scratch this fork, you're not gonna be as upset as scratching this fork um, so just things that you have to 
take into consideration.